can you move your seat back? Is mm. there a button? Um, I think yours is an angle. Oh, <laughs> I don't get a button? <laughs> no, That's only the driver gets a button. I don't know how to move it back. Like, maybe it's like in the Oh, no! I'm just not gonna worry about it. I'm in frame. Hey guys, welcome back to Lifestyle, Lifestyle of, of the Cleave and Nameless. I'm Joan. And I'm Coco. And we're back in Houston today to visit the world famous Hai Di Lao hot pot place. Why is this place world famous? Well, this is one of the biggest hot pot chain stores from China, and they have locations all over the world. What does Hai Di Lao mean? Hai Di Lao means scoop from the bottom of the ocean. Oh, okay. So I'm expecting some good eats. And they're known for their wonderful customer service. So it's like a world-class hot pot experience. If you've never eaten hot pot before, come with us and we'll show you how it's done. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to see more food videos like this. So let's go, because I'm hungry. This place is packed during the weekends, and we're here today on a Monday whenever they're just open, so there's no line. But they have like this waiting area where they give you refreshments and complimentary snacks so that you stay and wait for the food. They have a nice area where you can take pictures. This is really photogenic. Guys, when you come in, you're gonna place your order on this iPad thingy here. And they gave me a hair tie for my hair. Screen protector for my phone. Screen protector, but it's a Ziploc bag. Lens wipe for your phone too. And last but not least, an apron. So I don't make a mess. <laughs> let's go to the soup base. So let's do the double flavor, right? The classic spicy. I think I want pork bone. Okay, let's do corn bone. I think we're just good with that. Let's get the dancing noodles. The tripe. The fatty beef. Get fried bean curd rolls. The crown daisy. Can we get plum juice? Oh, can we get crispy pork? I wanted the shrimp paste. Pork brain. Pork oh, brain. Oh, Japanese yam. Yeah, yeah. So our total oh is gosh. 91. <laughs> Splurge. Yay! Look at what we have here. This is a wireless charging pad. You could just charge your phone here. Isn't that cool? We have to put our gloves on. Oh my god, oh my god. You guys, that was a robot waitress. Or waiter, maybe it was a guy. So we have to get our dipping sauce. I like to do the sesame sauce. A little bit of vinegar. Chili powder. A little bit of soy sauce. Sesame oil. Minced garlic. And cilantro. Ta-da! And if you don't know what to do, they have recipes up here for you. Hi! Am I in your way? So sorry, so sorry. Bye-bye! I think it might have delivered to our table. <laughs> we missed it! I know! Hot pot is like a comfort meal in Chinese culture and is traditionally eaten with friends and family huddled around the dining table as they share a bubbling pot of meats and veggies. Ooh. This juice is really good. This is plum juice that Joan said we had to get. I never tried it before. Hmm. It's sweet and sour, which is like really good whenever you're eating hot pot because it helps you like cool down and it aids with digestion so you can eat more food. So we got two different soup bases. One is the classic hot and spicy one and then the other one is a bone broth. Let me tie my hair back. Mm. The pork bone broth is really good. She wanted me to get mushroom and I was like, no, pork. <laughs> so this is the crispy pork and my friend recommended it to me. She said this is like a must try here. It's an appetizer, so you don't really put that into the hot pot. Mm -mm. And you get some like chili 
and ketchup. <laughs> I just realized these are super long. <laughs> it smells so good. So umami. I'm having issues with these super long chopsticks. I'm like poking side on the side. I feel like I'm gonna poke y'all mm -hmm. We're gonna put the fatty beef in first. This is like a musket whenever I go. I always put like the meats on the spicy side and the veggies on the clear side. This is the crown daisy. Best vegetable for hot pot. I've actually never seen that vegetable before. So this is yam. Japanese yam. I'll put one on the clear side and one on the spicy side. It's fried bean curd. Spicy of course. And let's put a beef tripe in there for fun too. The beef is ready. Here you go. Oh, that's a try. Yeah. Oh, I got one too. Spicy? Mm hmm. It's spicy. So spicy. Alright, I'm gonna go for the try now. The try is really good. Surprisingly. Surprisingly? Because I don't eat tripe that much. I've never had this kind of tripe. The tripe I normally eat is white. How do you get black ones? I don't know what's the difference, honestly. <laughs> Isn't it more natural to be a darker color, though? I have no idea. Can somebody tell us where white tripe and black tripe comes from? It's got a great texture. It's like very rubbery and crunchy <laughs> at the same time. So try the crown daisy. I feel like this is one of the most iconic veggies to go with hot pot. Oh really? Because it's able to soak up all the juices really well. This crown daisy to me tastes like a cross between a vegetable and an onion. Like if they got married and had a baby. Oh, this is really spicy. It's hitting me. I need some water. Good thing they have a whole pitcher of water at the end of the table for <laughs> Yeah. I see why that's there. So growing up, my family, we did hot pot at home, and my parents would use water for the soup base, but it's just a pot of water. And I always wonder, like, okay, but we're just eating boiled food. I never really understood it. Alright, this is the fried tofu skin. I'm gonna eat it now. Mm. It's very flavorful. <laughs> This is the Japanese yam. Mine's in the spicy base. Mm. It's like potato, but better and healthier. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a yam at all because it's not even sweet. It's more like a potato. Mm -hmm. It even looks like a potato because it's white. Yes. I feel like it's more fragrant than a potato. It's like more earthy. Yeah, it does have an earthy flavor. Oh, can you put some in both? Mm -hmm. Jones and one for Joe. 
No, one for me and one for you. No, we're both I am gonna not. try it. This is not gonna be another chicken feet situation. Of course not. This is pig brain situation. No. They said that it tastes like tofu. I have enough brains in here. I don't need to put more in my body. Everyone needs more brain cells. It can't hurt. She said that it's gonna take about 15 minutes to cook, and you put it in this so that whenever it's cooking, it doesn't like mess up and spread all over your pot. It's very um, soft. Yeah, it's very soft and delicate. It's delicate. I feel like it's got a lot of fat tissue. Of a doubt that it is cooked. It's gotta be cooked. You will be for that long, I'll be cooked. Alright, we got the pig brain cooked. Joe is gonna try it now. Interesting. Imagine tofu, but like fatty tofu. Like a quirky flavored fat tofu. Hey, it's not bad. I like it. You do? I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way to order it, but <laughs> but it's like, like I don't hate it. But I don't think I can finish this. <laughs> so she's basically saying no to the pig brain. Like you'll have to try it. Can I just stick to my Japanese here? No. Come on. <gasps> I'm waiting for you. Can I put some sauce on it? All right, I'm gonna try a little piece. Here I go. <laughs> Explain. I don't even know. It tastes almost like egg white. It's like if if your pig laid an egg and this is what their egg would taste like. But it's their brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't prefer it. Can I just have regular egg whites? <laughs> no brain for cocoa? No. So Pazilao is more like a premium hot pot place due to the prices mm -hmm. because there are much cheaper options. But do I think if it's worth it? I think so for the experience. Definitely. You get great customer service. You have a robot waiter waiting on you. <laughs> that thing is so cute. And you get a performance. You get side dishes and you get lots of amenities. Like even when you're waiting for your table outside. All right, we have so much food on the table still that we're gonna finish and we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we'll catch back up with you at our next stop. Coco, that hot pot was so good. I'm so full. Me too. But we can't leave Houston without getting dessert. Yeah, and there's actually a place right next to the hot pot place called Somi Somi and they serve taiyaki. And what is taiyaki? Taiyaki is a Japanese dessert. It's like a pancake they make into a shape of a fish and they fill it with like red beans. Mm. Like a red bean paste that's sweet. And we're gonna get it with ice cream, right? Yeah, they serve it with ice cream or you can get it by itself. It's like a day with hot and cold. Hot pot and ice cream. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go.
it's melting. It's melting. Me too. No, I'm feeling it in my arms. It's like drooping onto my my jeans while I'm fixing the camera. Oh, it oh was my fine god. Before, oh my Joel. god. Oh my god. Joel. Oh my god. Ah, oh, it's melting. John, it was fine before. You messed with it. Okay. How do you move your seat back? Is mm. there a button? Um, I think yours is manual. Oh, <laughs> I don't get a button. <laughs> no, That's only the driver gets a button. I don't know how to move it back. Like maybe it's like in the Oh, no. I'm just not going to worry about it. I'm in frame. We got our tayakis and it's melting. <sighs> I got the ubi flavor. Mm. What flavor did you get? I got the hojicha. She says it's like a green tea coffee flavor. It's really good. It's more coffee to me though. And this fish is the taiyaki. And I got it filled with red beans. I got mine filled with taro. Mine's like all covered with the napkin because it's like melting. And really it's so good. They have ice cream at the hot pot place too, but skip that and come get you a taiyaki. It's hard to talk and eat at the same time yes. because it's ice cream. Hmm. That pancake is so crunchy. Mmm. It's really, really good. Right? It reminds me a little bit of the egg waffles. It kind of does, yeah. I feel like it's almost mochi-like. Mmm. It definitely is a little mochi-like. If you bite more towards in it. Oh, yeah? It's very chewy. And I got like a, a taro filling, so it's like purple on top of purple. You're like all taroed out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like that pun. <laughs> Eating ice cream is a self-sacrifice for me. Because mm -hmm. dairy makes my face break out every time. But hey, I wanted to try this, and it's really good. It's worth it. It is worth it. It's going worth whatever pimples I get. Ah, it's so messy, Joan. I know. <laughs> so much ice cream. So they don't actually have chairs inside. Because of the times, I think. Yeah, so it's just tables. I mean, you can still eat in there, but you just stand and eat. Yeah. And this is my first time having a taiyaki. Like, it kind of surprised me. I didn't expect it to be like a pancake slash mochi type of texture. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I recommend this. Me too. Mm. You see the rubbing inside my fish? I don't want to tip the ice cream over, but it's in there. This is like a lot for one person. <laughs> it's only because we ate so much for lunch, Joe. We ate all that hot pot. I definitely recommend getting somi somi if you've never had taiyaki before. If you stayed with us to this point, it's your lucky day. We're doing a giveaway. This giveaway is for our subscribers who have helped us reach 100. Yes. I know it's a little long overdue, but hey, we didn't have time. Yes. So now we're doing it and we're giving away a Bacar bottle. If you're not familiar with Bacar bottles, they're made of glass with a silicone cover and it makes your water taste so good because you don't have that plasticky aftertaste or stainless steel aftertaste of plastic and metal containers. Your water will always taste nice and crisp. And one lucky person is going to win this Picard bottle. So tell us the rules, Joan. All right, so this giveaway will be for USA only. Sorry, we're still plebes. Can't afford international shipping. Maybe later. So stay tuned. If you're new here and haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe for a chance to enter this giveaway. So the rules are, one, you must subscribe to our channel. Please make your subscription public so that we can verify that you are a subscriber. Two, leave us a comment under this video. Tell us if you ever had hot pot before. And if you did, what is your favorite hot pot dish and which one you would like to try next? This giveaway will end on March 31st, 2022. We will be using a random comment picker and we will respond to the winning comment. The winner must respond within 48 hours to claim the prize. Thank you guys so much for helping us reach 100 subscribers. Yes, thank you so much. If you've enjoyed our video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. See you guys next time on Lifestyle of the Plebe and Nameless. Bye! Bye. 
and good luck. Don't why do you look like that? I have a food coma.